morning people so i'm back with another video but in this video i want to show you guys how to actually beat these collection companies how to stop these letters from keep coming in and these companies just throwing stuff on your credit now the thing is when i'm working on your credit i do not want new accounts to come on and you can help me with that you can make sure new accounts do not come on your credit reports and when i say new accounts don't come on your credit reports when you get that collection letter in the mail you have to stop them and look down in the description i have the letter that you you guys will need to send in which is called the validation of debt letter now, I want you guys to send it certified. So, yes, I have that certified receipt here. So, I want you guys to send this certified. Now, when a collection company sends you a letter, so here's an example of a letter. When they send you a letter, you have to fight back. You have to attack them with a letter back, basically saying, hey, I'm not going to let you do anything to me. So, I'm not going to just let you just put on my credit. I'm not going to let you just tarnish my name and mess with my credit that I've been building or working hard to build. Now look at this letter here. Now this letter is from IC Systems. I kind of cut it off at the top because I didn't want you guys to see a client's personal information. But let's dig through this letter so you guys can understand it. And you guys can look at your letter to compare that letter to this letter. So right here is the collection notice and they're saying that the client owes $210. And then this letter is from IC Systems. IC Systems always send things. It's, uh, it's easy for us to get stuff deleted for IC Systems, AT&T. That's so easy for us. But Guess what? We don't have to delete this. You, we don't ha you don't have to pay us to delete this account if you already took care of it. So now you'll come to us for us to work on it when you could have just worried. You could have just took care of it right now. You ain't have to worry about it anymore. So let's get into the letter fully. So they basically, IC System is basically saying, hey, ATT is both the original and the current creditor to this debt. And they're basically saying that if you don't, in 30 days, you gotta let us know if you think that this debt is valid or not, because if you don't send us anything, we're gonna send it to the credit bureaus. Now the thing, when it comes down to this letter, all companies is gonna say this here, and at least they're supposed to. Now if they send you a letter and don't say this, then you need to let them know that you you, you dispute it anyway. So you wanna make sure you look down the description, get that letter, you send this into them. Keep this same letter, can you send the same letter to all the companies that you may have. So keep this letter, this should be like a letter that's on your wall next to wherever you check your mail at. I don't, I don't know, get a push pan, put it right there, and leave it right there. That's if you get a lot of letters in the mail. But they're all, all the companies are basically going to say, hey, if you don't say anything after 30 days, we're going to put on your credit report, which is going to tarnish your name, basically. When they put that on your credit report, it's going to be a new collection. It's going to really hurt you. Now, when it comes down to the letter that I'm telling you guys you need to get, that letter is basically saying, hey, show me that I actually owe this bill. Tell me who is the company. So let me go through the list of things because I have the copy of the letter here. So a few things that we're asking for is we need the name of the original creditor, which they already have it here, but we need to have that on the whatever you guys want to send. Sometimes they're going to still send like a billing statement or something. We need to know who the original creditor is. We need to have that on the documentation. So they need to make sure that they identify them like, hey, the original creditor is AT&T. The, and two, for this one, he's saying it's the original and it's the current creditor. So they need to have that two on that signed contract. So you're letting them know too on a letter is going to basically say, hey, I need to get the signed contract from AT&T showing that I actually owe them. The contract to say, hey, we're going to do business and these are the terms. You know, all that good stuff. You need the actual thing. And no, you do not want a screenshot. Sometimes you send this letter out, they'll just send you a screenshot of it. You do not want just a screenshot of it. And sometimes you're like, what is this? Does somebody just take this out the garbage and take a picture and send it? It's scams out there, you guys. It really is scams out there, and I want you guys to avoid them. And I want you guys to understand that this is your way to fight back. So you want to send this letter out, and you want to tell them, I need the original contract. Another thing, too, if the new collection company actually bought the debt from the original creditor, you need that contract from the original company to the collection company now. Because think, of, think about it like this. What if I came to you and say, hey, you owe AT&T? So two hundred and ten dollars. Make sure you make a check out to my company. You can write Rakita or whoever it is. I C Systems. What if I come to you as Rakita Cannon LLC and I'm like, hey, it's Rakita Cannon LLC and we see you all AT and T. Now we're collecting that debt on their behalf for two hundred ten dollars. You're like, wait, listen, I never had a contract with you. Send me the original contract I had with that company, and then too, I need the contract that says that you can even come to me and ask for this money. Did the the AT and T get? Did you guys have a contract together? Because that's something that you're gonna need too. So make sure that you want to get the contract. 
Now, too, you need to make sure that they're actually bonded and licensed in your state, but that's something that's on the letter. When I say bonded and licensed, I mean they need, they need to have a license to be able to collect in your state, and they need to have a bond that's currently valid. So that's something that they, they need to send to you. A lot of times when you send this letter out, they're just going to send you back a screenshot, and that's not good enough. You need to actually see that they're licensed and bonded in your state to be able to collect. Now, too, you're going to need the line by line account. When I say line by line account, like, hey, on this day you make this charge, like the full history of full account to show, hey, if they said that we, the client owed $210, how did you get to this amount? You can't just say, oh, $210 you expect me to pay. How did you get to this amount? Show me how I got to that $210 amount because what if it's actually $200? I need to see the full line by line account of this account. And two, this is like the most, most important thing. Like seriously, you guys, listen to this part because they're going to sell the debt constantly. And you guys probably seen that a lot where one time the, you guys will see that I see systems owe it, owe it now, but portfolio recovery just had it. And before portfolio recovery, you may have had a mirror collect having it. It's just the new companies each time coming to you saying that you owe. So you need to... Get the statute of limitations. You need to see when the last time you was delinquent on this account because the last time you was delinquent on this account will determine if they can even still collect on on this account. If they can even threaten to report to the credit bureaus because don't forget the last day, your last day of delinquency, the last time you paid on the account, from that day they got seven and a half years to put on your credit report. They just can't come in and get a new debt, which they do this a lot. Say if you had a debt from, it's 2020 now, say if you had a debt from... Let's see. I want to make sure. In Wisconsin, we got six years. So say if you had a debt from tw tw um, 2014, right? So that's from 2014. It was collection companies steady coming after you, but you were sending these things. You weren't having a problem with them. They didn't put in your credit. Now it's a new company coming after you. Like, yes, Rakita. Don't forget, too, it's July now. No, it's August now. It's not July. It's August now. <laughs> so it's August now. What if that debt was from July of 2014? That's the last date of delinquency. That was our last date of activity. So they had six years from July of 2014 to collect. But now it's that six-year mark is up because they should have did that last month. Now you got this new company coming after you saying, hey, if you don't pay this, we're going to sue you. We're going to do all these things to you. But listen, we got the six years. They cannot do that anymore. So that's why I want you guys to see when's the last time I was delinquent on this account? What's the statute of limitations on this account, too? They don't tell you that. Even though you can add and say, okay, July 2014, technically you guys should have did it last month. You want them to send that to you because if they put that on your credit report, that's an FDCPA violation. And when I say FDCPA violation, like you can technically go to the courts and sue them. I'm not an attorney yet. I'm working on it because this is something that's really serious to me. Because I think about it for like the FDCPA, that's 1692G. And when I say that you can go after them, this letter right here is in 1692G2. They're supposed to send this letter to you, but it's your right to be able to say, hey, you guys were supposed to send me this proof, and you guys did not send me this proof. That's the 1692G2. So I want you guys to send them the validation letter. It's in the description. Go ahead and send this letter to them. And do not wait. If you're past that 30-day mark, certain rights you're losing. So as soon as you get this letter, you want to send it out. And don't forget, too, I want you, to, you, I want you guys to send it certified. Now, I'm going to make sure I pop another picture up where I'm just popping this up. I'm going to show you guys another certified receipt so you guys can see what to do. But all you got to do is make sure that you're sending this receipt to the, the company. Now, when you send, well, you put in the company's information too. I want you to actually send this thing right here. Like when you have the certified receipts, let me show you. When you guys have the certified receipts, you're going to rip this part of it off, right? They're going to stamp it right here, and you're going to be able to have that. Let me show you one of my clients. Let me let me block out their name to show you guys. Okay, here you go. Here goes some certified receipts we just sent August 30th for a client. You see how they stamped it? And then we sent it to Experian. That's because I need to know that you guys got the letter. Like when I say premium disputes, this is what I mean. So... They're going to stamp it like this. This way you'll know, like, okay, I actually sent the letter to you. Here's the date. You can't say I didn't send it to you. But you're going to keep this part of it, right? But then you're left with these two pieces. This piece right here, let me show you. Let me peel it. It's, thick, it's sticky. So the post, the post, 
postal woman, <laughs> the lady at the post office or the man at the post office is actually going to stick this to your letter and they're going to wrap it around your letter so it's going to look something like this. Let me show you what it looks like, you guys. So when they send it to you, it's going to look like this. Well, when they send this to the company, this is what it's going to look like. They're going to wrap it around just like this. You see how I stuck that there? But you're going to have this little bitty baby piece left right here. Stick this on your letter. That's the tracking code. Just today I'm calling a bull crap and put that on your letter. Make a copy of the letter too. So make a copy of the letter. You can take that right off. You can take that right off. Before you even give this to the, the lady at the post office, you can take this off because they don't need this thing no way. What they're going to do is they're going to peel this off. They don't care anything about this. They're just going to throw this in the garbage. So you guys can take this off. Stick this on your letter at the top bottom. I don't care where you stick it at. Just make sure it's visible. And make sure you make a copy of that letter right there so you can keep it for your records. Just in case they want to try and sue you, you got everything in order so you don't have to worry about it. So what I want you guys to do is make sure you guys send it certified. That's really the key. When you guys send it certified, you don't have to worry about problems happening. A lot of times, they're going to do three things. Let me tell you what they're going to do. So the first thing is they're going to send you some proof. So they can send you some proof. A lot of times they don't see the correct proof, and you can just send them another letter too. You'll be able to see that just send a regular letter saying, hey, the proof that you sent was not good enough. Please delete this account, or please do not report this account on my credit reports. Please stop the, your collection efforts for this account. Now, that's if they send you incorrect proof, which is a lot of time they're going to see the incorrect proof. Now, if they send you all of the things that I sent you, I mean, well, I told you I want them to send you, they sent you the point that they license it by name in your state. They send you the actual statements with everything on it. Like, they have all of their stuff in order. Then you may want to try to settle the debt, but keep this in mind, too. If you go ahead and try to settle the debt, make sure, depending on if it's really, really old, you don't want to pay a lot of money for this debt. You want 50% off of this debt. Because what's going to happen if they got the proof, you don't want them to let it or try to sue you and then deny your stuff, right? So I want you to just take care of it. But that's if they send you the proof and it's the correct proof. If it's not the correct proof, send them another letter saying, hey, that wasn't the correct proof. Please do not collect on this debt anymore and please do not report it to the credit bureaus. Now, another thing they can do is they just can't, they won't do anything. They'll just ignore it. They'll leave it at that. They want to put it on your credit reports. They won't do anything. They'll just be like, okay, cool. We're done. Which that's, that's what they do a lot of time. It's rare that they'll send you the correct information. And if they do send you the correct information or in terms of they think that it's the correct information, then you have options in terms of sending that sending a second letter like I told you or just paying it. Now keep this in mind too. If they don't do anything, just leave it alone. You got your proof, make sure you keep this to the side, just leave it alone, right? But another thing, this is the main thing that they try to do, is whether a lot of times you may see them just ignore it, or this is what they love, love to do the most because they pay for this. Don't forget, this is like a they pay for this. It's like an item. It's something that they're selling. Like, you know how you go to the grocery store, like, yeah, we sell milk, we sell eggs, we sell bread. Like, they milk, eggs, and bread is y'all accounts. That's what that is. So, what they'll try to do is they'll give it to somebody else to sell, which is a collection agency. Now, when they send it to that collection, the next collection agency, they're going to try the same stuff with you. But don't forget, you already know what's going on. You're going to send this same thing out to them, and they're going to be like, dang, they know they right. We got stuck with this debt. Let's leave it alone or let's go ahead and sell it. Don't forget, too, a lot of times they can't show that paper trail because sometimes you would think, dang, I just, this is like the fifth collection agency that sent this to me. But remember I told you in that letter we asked for the contract from the original to the collection, the original co company to the collection agency now. So if they don't have the information for you, then listen, they cannot collect on it. They cannot come after you saying that you owe it because technically I may owe it, but I don't owe it to you. And you can't prove it, so you're on able to collect on it so keep that in mind you guys but let's make it simple let me sum this up for you guys because I don't want you guys to be scared off on it when you get the letter from the collection agency I want you guys to send out the letter right away when you send out that letter a lot of times they're going to just ignore it they're going to be like okay cool that's fine they're not going to do anything next they'll just try to sell it to a new company but at the new company you just do the same thing send them the letter until you all have the statute of limitations don't forget the statute of limitations is different per state so Make sure you guys look that up, too. And I'll make sure. I think I have something, too, for you guys for the statute of limitation. I'll make sure I find it. If you guys need it, definitely just call or text us, and we can send it right on over to you. But just keep fighting with them until you're outside of statute of limitations. Now, remember, if they if they go ahead and send you some items, if it's not everything we asked for, then it's a problem. Because we need all these different things to see if we owe them, and then on top of if we owe them, 
you want to make sure that that amount is even right. A lot of times the accounting may be right, that wrong. That's why I want them, it's not right. So that's why I want them to make sure that they put the line by line accounting. So do not wait and wait for this to come on your credit reports because if it come on your credit reports, it's going to cause a lot of trouble. Just go ahead and do the validation of the debt letter. If it's already on your credit reports, we already working to get this item removed off your credit reports. Or if we not, Call us to Texas, we can help you with that. But I want you guys to stop me from actually coming on your credit reports by actually using this letter. And again, too, call us to Texas. My phone number is 833-RAKITA. To make a video about, please let me know. I also have two playlists here for you, too. So I have a video that you think that I think that you may be interested in. So go ahead and check that video out. And then I also have another video of different videos. Actually, I have another playlist of different videos that I think you may find very interesting so please go ahead and check that out and don't forget please subscribe to my youtube channel